What's up, YouTube, and welcome to my very first Let's Play episode of The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. I'm very excited to bring this to you today. Um, as you can tell, uh, it's taken me a few days to get this started. Uh, I put an update video out there saying I was going to start it right off the bat. Didn't quite happen. Played the game a little bit beforehand, and so I decided to bring you a brand new character that I'm going to be basing on a challenge I've accepted from a good friend of mine, kind of together with Gamer Dudester and Jesse. Uh, if you don't know Gamer Dudester or Jesse, uh, I'm going to put some links in the bottom of the description bar below. Uh, do check them out, they both make great videos. Gamer Dudester has amazing Let's Play videos. Like, if you, if you like this type of video, you should subscribe to him. Great guy, really nice guy. So yeah. Basically, um, I was challenged to play um, as a archer by Chessy, Chessy, and um, basically I've played all the Elder Scroll games uh, except for the Elder Scrolls 2 Daggerfall. I've played Arena. I obviously played Morrowind, uh, which was my beginning of the Elder Scrolls career uh, back in the day on the Xbox. Uh, I also played Oblivion, and now I'm very excited, very, very excited to play Skyrim. Um, I was challenged to play an archer by uh, Jesse. Uh, I do play on master level, so right off the bat there's two races that come to my mind. There's either the Wood Elves, which you just saw, or you can either also play as the Khaji, which are, unlike the Wood Elves, a bit more of a thievish race. They are... Uh, known thieves and pickpockets and uh, the wood elves are better archers kind of rangers if you'd like to if you like to call them that but yeah I'm um, gonna go ahead customize uh, this character um, I, ha I have a <laughs> I, I, I have a uh, a cat a pet cat back home and uh, his name's uh, Bagheera so I'm gonna gonna name this character after my cat. Uh, he's named after Bagheera from the Jungle Book, so I'm gonna make him a Black Panther cat. And since he's a thief, I'm gonna make him as skinny as possible, since, you know, thieves are, they're, they're lanky, right? They're not very buff. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and make him, I'm not gonna mess around with the dirt too much, uh, see if there's any scars I like. Uh, my, my my pet cat actually does have scars in the, in his face, so he looks like a bouse, you know. So I'm gonna try and make this guy look as a bouse just as much. Uh, the one of us with the war paint, we are a feral a feral race after all. Um, I think I'm gonna stick with this nose in the middle. I'm not gonna mess with either one of these too much. You can you can see you can customize this game to a large deal. Uh, you, you can change so many things. Um, just, yeah, I like those eyes. They, they, he looks awake. And I'm also going to go, do I have yellow? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with yellow eyes. Just like my cat, trying to make him look like a, a thief as much as possible. Um, yeah, as you can see from this, you're really able to to customize your character in so many different aspects. There's just so much, so much to be done and so much to customize. I, I, I highly doubt that you you could run into two identical looking characters. Of course, very similar looking, but barely ever identical characters within the game. So I'm gonna go ahead and name my character Bagheera. That's how I spell it. There's other ways of spelling and. Uh, yeah, so I skipped the intro part because I found it was a bit boring. Um, pretty much what happens is you are, you start off, it says Skyrim, and the picture fades away, and you sit in the cart with two guys who were just called up, who were just named, and your name wasn't on the list, and you are on your way to being executed. As you can see up here, there's a bunch of people waiting to be executed. And uh, there's the block. There's the guy in the mask that chopped my head off. And I'm just going to shut up and let you guys enjoy this little dialogue.
restore the peace. We commend your souls to Aetherius. Blessings of the eight divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. No, our beloved. You wish? Um, I would like to say at this spot, this game is rated M for mature, so. Trend Rage, maybe, maybe, maybe look away for a couple of seconds. Because it is graphic. Not as graphic as other games. Fearless in death as she was in life. So yeah, we're up, guys. Uh, did you hear that? There it is again. Yeah. Did you hear that? I think that's us, guys. To the block prisoner. I can Damn. I don't want to die. <laughs> I barely started the game. Dragon comes to my rescue. Who would have guessed that? So yeah, here we are. We we have evaded execution by beheading and we're gonna run towards safety. Uh, Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak, as an information, is one of the leaders of this whole um, plot uh, of Skyrim. He supposedly killed the king of the empire, or the emperor of the empire, I'm not quite sure on that. And uh, he was about to be executed. But this bad boy here stopped that. So yeah, so these quests are really really, or these uh, these scenes are intended as a uh, tutorial for the players. Uh, you can see you have to press spacebar to jump across there. Barely just made that. I'm just gonna follow the arrows and as I said, I, I will be playing this game on Master. Um, there's, there's not gonna be any seeing out for me if I if I manage if I run out of lockpicks or anything I'm not gonna be uh, reloading just to get more lockpicks um, I'm gonna play this the hardcore mode and only load if I actually die um, yeah it's pretty basic right now just follow this guy walk like walking around you press ALT to sprint in case you didn't know that in case you are still thinking about buying this game So yeah, here I'm about to have the choice <laughs> uh, who to go with into the castle. Um, either the Imperial Guard or the the Rebel. And uh, I do keep in mind that the Imperial Guard just tried to execute me, but I'm still going to go with him. Um, just because I think I'm, I might join the Imperial Legion at some point later in the game. But yeah, here we are, we've evaded the dragon. 
just about to get and load the first minor mini tutorial dungeon. Um, I'm going to be playing as a thief slash one-handed archer, one-handed weapon together with archery and maybe some destruction and restoration magic. Uh, my choice of armor is going to be light armor. Uh, here you can see my character nice and quick. Uh, I find it's easier to fight uh, with one-handed weapons in third person. I'm not sure about archery yet. If you guys have played uh, Mountain Blade Warband, you find that there's a difference whether you play first person or third person archery. But uh, I'm, I'm going to see what I, what I think, how I like it. Um, I have currently my my one-handed sword in my right hand, my flame spell in the left, and I'm um, just going to leave that for now, just focus on one hand. Do a little dual action. Just go ahead. Yeah, I, I, I do find it's easier to fight in third person view compared to first person uh, simply based on the fact that um, you are able to see where your companions are and you don't hit them by accident, which uh, has happened to me on various occasions. Uh, my little sneak attack there did fail, so I'm just going to stand up. Um, stamina load, that's a problem we're going to run into a lot. Nice finishing kill. Set them on fire. Ooh, hit me hard there. But yeah, that's the first, the first session. <laughs> Being com compared to uh, new players to the Elder Scroll series, I've realized that me being an old player in Morrowind and Oblivion, you are affected whether you would sheath your weapons after a fight. Um, if you if you run with your weapons out, or if you talk to a person with your weapons out, you would you first of all walk slower, and you would also uh, if you're talking to a person, they would dislike you. So it's a reflex of mine to automatically sheath my weapons, and it's funny to see in newer players such as uh, Gamer Dudester that they pretty much walk with their weapons out the whole time. It's just a minor detail between uh, generations of Elder Scroll players. I I notice. So yeah, this just collapsed, and uh, trying to look for a way to get out. Yeah, some more fighting. Um, really, as as the oh, that was a fail. As the kind of class I'm trying to play as, I really don't want to be taking the majority of damage. Um, I should try and keep my distance to whoever I'm fighting. Um, occasionally use my. Ma magica, not mana, as some people call it. But yeah. I don't need potions. I'm, I'm too cool for that. But on a more serious note, you guys should pick up potions. So I'm just trying to figure out who's on my side. But yeah, that would be the Stormcloaks. And uh, this video is coming to an end. We are slowly running out of time. And <laughs> a backstab finishing move to finish the video. I think that's a, that's a great spot to end the first episode of my Let's Play Skyrim. Um, please remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. Uh, if you don't know Gamer Dudes, so go check out his his channel. I'll provide links below, and see you next time.